you the reason listening. why. Ra right. Rachel, you haven't had a chance. I do. Um, I mean, you you do sit on the education committee, correct? I think you're that, a teacher. Yeah. Okay. Well, so you introduced legislation to punish Detroit teachers for calling in sick to work, yet such action got the attention of the mayor and the rest of the state. Rodents, unsafe buildings, and threats to physical harm are just the beginning. It took unified action by teachers to bring attention to this matter. Instead of proposing legislation to address the deplorable conditions of the schools, you're attacking the teachers who shed light on the unsafe learning and working conditions. I would like to challenge you to arrange with the Detroit Public Schools to be a surprise substitute teacher in one of the most troubled schools in Detroit. No advanced preparation, set up, or special treatment. Just show up and teach one day. For a week, not a day. Let him answer. Those questions. Would, well, you, just, would, would you, you do that? that? No. Why? Because I'm not interested in being a substitute teacher. But you, would but you no, sit but on you the Senate and But aren't you interested, interested in those conditions? Let him, let him talk. Okay. I'm happy to go down and look at buildings. I've been through more buildings in DPS probably than anybody in here, unless you have. Um, I wouldn't say that to you. You've probably been in more of them, but I don't know how many buildings you guys have toured. I've been touring buildings down there for a very long time. But yet you expect these teachers to go in and they're working in these deplorable them? conditions. Just since, just since this, so, so you've been touring them since 2007. So and your tours of all these multiple buildings in Detroit, you never noticed the mold on the wall? Or the floors that were all upheaved? Or the ceilings that were leaking? Did you notice that? Um, I never had it brought to my attention. In fact, I'm not talking about bringing it to your attention. I'm just talking about the human being walking and going, oh gosh, there's mold on that wall. No, you never saw that. Wasn't looking for it. You were not looking for it, so you didn't see it. So you've been touring buildings since 2007, but you yourself, as a public servant, did not say, "Wow, we have some problems in these buildings. Somebody needs to bring light to this, so that this didn't have to happen." If we had our elected officials saying, "Hey, there's problems going on." Let's be proactive and let's start addressing these before it gets to the complaint mode of the citizens and the teachers and the, and the parents and, and so on. Do you, do you see how that works? Yeah. How many have you done? How many complaints have you filed in DPS to these conditions? I, I haven't filed any complaints. I don't. My children don't belong to that school. Have you toured? Okay. Have you been, yes. I, yes, I actually have did been. Did you see in, any of this? Just recently, oh, yeah. yes. It's after this, after it became media event, How and you're absolutely recently? correct. So, but that's my point. I'm a citizen, and after I started reading it in the newspapers and seeing it in the media, I said, "Oh my goodness, I have children. I have a seven and an eight year old. If they were going through this, this would be horrific." But you are a public official. You are a public servant, and you've been touring these buildings since 2007, and shame on you for never bringing light to it and never bringing it to the mayor. As you just said, if you were a teacher, you would call Mayor Duggan. So then you should have picked up the phone and called Mayor Duggan and said, I was okay. just in your you buildings. Questions. 